what up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and this is an unboxing and quick look at the Cozy Swan QT900 Quad Core Mini PC with AirPlay Cast. Now before we take it out of the box and check it out, let's go over the specifications. It has an A31 All Winner Cortex A7 Quad Core CPU at 1.0 GHz. It has a Mali 400 graphics processor unit. It supports 1080p at 60 frames per second, 4K video decoding at 30 frames per second, iOS AirPlay with mirroring functionality built in. It has a gig of RAM and 8 gigs of internal flash storage, dual band Wi-Fi at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, and Bluetooth 4.0. Now let's take a look at the box real quick before we open it up. It gives you a few details about how it works and what it can be used for. And right here it tells you on the side the dual band Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. All right, so let's unbox it and check it out. And as you can see, it's aluminum, which is a big plus. Feels really nice. Feels heavier than any other mini PC that I've ever reviewed. This is my first aluminum. And you can see right there, AirPlay cast. So let's go ahead and remove the HDMI protector. And you have the usual one USB port and the DC power input is a micro USB. So if you have a micro USB, you can, already you can just use yours and connect it straight to the back of the television. And you won't need to use a socket for power, It'll be a lot easier. And there's one micro SD card slot, as well as another micro USB port, which is the OTG port for flashing new software onto the device. And this device also supports over-the-air updates. So let's go ahead and put the device aside for now and see what else is in the box. And this is the instructions. So if you're not familiar with this kind of device, it tells you exactly how to set it up get it running so this is a extension female to male HDMI so that you can have a little extension if you want to hide this better behind your television or if you have a side HDMI port you want to put it behind there this is the 5 volt power adapter for your USB it's part of the device and this is the USB to micro USB so the fact that it's separate is pretty good because You'll be able to connect this straight to your television if you have a USB port and then to the back of the device and power it without even using this. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's get it hooked up. Now, I have a piece that I'll put a link to in the description. It's a female HDMI to female HDMI. And that's pretty much the most convenient piece for a device like this. So you can just do that and then connect it to your HDMI cable and then you can really hide this device better than putting it behind your television but using the connector piece that's included you just connect the device to that end you connect that into your HDMI port of your television or display then you just connect the USB end of the micro USB cable that's included into the power adapter and then you plug this in the micro USB end into the slot for the power to the device like that and then you can insert the USB dongle for your mouse and keyboard combo or air mouse or you can also use just a plain mouse if you wish and that's it you just plug it in wait about 10-15 seconds and be powered up All right, now we're fully booted. It took 30 seconds, and you can see I had a little time to set mine up and get it all running and everything. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings and get your Wi-Fi connected. And this device does support 5 gigahertz networks as well as 2.4, as I mentioned earlier. So that's a definite plus. Get you better connectivity faster and stay connected much better than many other devices. And I'll scroll back up and show you that the Bluetooth is enabled so that you know the Bluetooth works perfect. And I'll be doing a full review on this device very soon. And we'll test all of the features of this device as well as XBMC 
and a few other things. And the last thing I'll show you really quick before we bring this video to a close is the thing that this device is really best known for, which is the mirroring functionality that is just about flawless. And all you have to do is get the device as well as your iPad or other iOS device that's AirPlay enabled on the same Wi-Fi network. And then go ahead and select the dongle settings to connect to it. And as you can see, it even changes from landscape to portrait. So you can see how smooth the AirPlay mirroring is. Really works well. And we'll be testing some of that other features such as this out during the full review. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This was an unboxing and quick look at the QT900 Quad Core Mini PC. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please click the like button. Also like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. Follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. And also check out my blog at superchargedios.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.